So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I'm going to showcase you how you can get Red Bear's Claw along with his armor set too. And these are some unique ass weapons. I feel many people are well, sleeping on. I really do. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So these are absolutely fantastic. Uh, this one right here is the Beast Claw Slash. It's absolutely incredible. The enemy you get this from drops also with armor. The armor doesn't do anything specific. It just looks cool. But hey, the weapon itself, the Red Bear's Claw, if you two-hand this, you wait on both hands. It causes that blood loss build-up. Scales your strength and dexterity. Requires 20 in strength and 10 dexterity to wield these things properly. And they have that unique skill of a Red Bear Hunt. Stru uh, slaughters prey with sharp claws and a great swipe of the arm. The attack creates a vacuum which deals continuous damage. Repeated inputs follow up to two follow up attacks. So, badass, let's take a look at that. You can see, absolutely awesome. Now, what I will say is, as well, these are so so quick. I mean, the heavy attack I love, but even the light attacks are pretty badass too. I mean, you can just spam these out, they're fast and no doubt gonna do some great damage. And with the right build around these, I think they could be pretty cool. I may work on something for them, but we will see. Now, to get these guys is actually quite easy. You just have to go and fight uh, Red Bear. Once you take him out, you are rewarded this weapon and his entire armor set. So if you come to the High Road Cross Grace, we need to make our way to the Church of... Not sorry, not Church of Crusade, what am I talking about? We need to make our way to the Northern Nameless Mausoleum. As you get here, guys, you actually have to run around. So we need to come to this point of the map first, for people who do not know. So from the High Road Cross Grace, we should unlock the first one after you take out Relena Twin Moon Knights. Come up here, guys, and follow the path I take on the screen now. So we're going to jump on our mount, and we're going to head towards that first marker. Just like this. Now, it's, I wouldn't say it's quite a trek, to be honest. There's a few graces down here and around here. So when you get here initially... You won't have to run this path again, so you're good. So let's keep coming this way, and you'll see like a body of water. That body of water tells you you're going in the right direction. And try and ignore any of these dudes and their horses, because they're just a pain in the ass. I said try and ignore him, and he hits me. Okay, so now is that body of water you want to be getting to. You know, now you're going in the right place. And then guys, just want to head into this cave system, just like this. It is a bit foggy, a bit dark. I'm going to put on my light. I don't know. Actually, I think my light's already on. No, it ain't. There we go. So from here, guys, run past this flower. And follow this way. And when you see that pretty tree, turn right. And go up here. Just like so. Now from here, guys, you're going to run past all these enemies through this swamp. And making our way slightly uh, left here, which will be going towards northwest. There's going to be loads of those annoying ass birds here too. Man, oh man, I hate these enemies. I hate these enemies. So let's run past them, guys. Picking up that loot on a wave you haven't already. Just like so. The grave bird anklet's actually looking for them. <laughs> I'm actually looking for them, believe it or not. i looking for them. Okay, so come this way, guys. Keep coming this way. And then we'll see... They come to the open again, which is cool because there's a grace just down here. So coming this way, guys, you will then come to the grace, which is, can't remember off the top of my head now. It is the ancient ruins base. So good. Now let's make our way around and come this way. Now what I will say is, people, there's a couple of giants here. Um, I actually took them out thinking they wouldn't respawn. They do respawn. So yeah. There we go, right here, there's one with a bow and another one with like some giant old spear. As soon as he pulls that back, you need to jump. Not like that, and get clapped straight in your face. That's not how you want things to go. Uh, that was embarrassing, but hey, I timed that so bad. It's like my life, timing of my life. Now from here, guys, you want to jump up and get behind this uh, ruins here, and then jump again, because that guy was trying to attack you. I want to say the reason I say get behind there is because the guy with a bow and arrow will clap you in the back of your head, which is not what you want. So from here, guys, if it's your first time coming here, you'll see this 
bring uh, thingy uh, we locked for you. You want to come up this path. Just keep coming up this path and there will be uh, this pile of rubble here. See in that circle there will be a rock there. You have to hit that rock. Upon you hitting that rock, that spring there, that spring booster will then open up and you can take it up. Take that thing up. So yep, there we go. I'm jumping up here. And then there will be another one for you to jump up onto. Just like so. So from here guys, jump up. And now from here guys, you can see right in front of you is where you need to be. It really is as simple as that. Now once you get here guys, go on down in. Have a good old fight with the old red bear. And then there you have it. Taking him out guys, rewards you. This weapon and his armor set. And it really is as simple as that. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.